everyone, by the way, this is Mark and welcome back again here in a YouTube channel, Happy TV. So, by the way guys, I'm grateful that all of you are here and I'm so thankful, especially for our new subscribers for subscribing and, and also to our old subscribers. Thank you guys for always there, supporting our happy and supporting this channel, of course. And by the way, uh, today we'll be talking about what is the best catfish food that we can offer to our catfish because um, as a hobbyist, we need to give them the best fish food, those nutritious fish food for our catfish to make our catfish to make our agave fish acquire the healthy body and good coloration and also the vibrant color that they're needed especially when it comes to shows so we will discuss all of those things today but before anything else guys uh, if you're new here please consider subscribing to get updated whenever we have new uploads just like this one so what are waiting for let's jump into the video I adore giving my gava fish to eat. Watching them consume the food you provide is a lot of fun. What should you feed them? Though, what is the finest meal to feed your gava fish? Though, how often should you feed your fish each day? In this video, I'll address all of your inquiries about gava food and feeding times. How should I feed my gava fish? Gava fish are easily overfed and always appear to be hungry. <laughs> they will consume all of what you give them. Your fish health will suffer if you overfeed them. You just need to feed your guppies twice or thrice a day. Offer them a balanced diet and a variety of foods. Offer them a small amount of food that they can eat in 2-5 to five minutes. Multiple smaller pinches of flake foods will work best. Don't dump all the live food you give your guppies at once, such as brine shrimp or bloodworms. Divide them into several doses. Guppies eat anything. They'll take just about everything you give them. There are countless options available when it comes to commercial food. Fish meal for both adults and fry is produced by hundreds of businesses. You may make guppy food at home as well. Although this technique takes a lot of time, it can be worthwhile if you want to raise gorgeous fish. Best commercial guppy food. The majority of us lack the time and energy necessary to make our own fish food. Purchasing fish food is the simplest way to provide your fish with the vitamins and nourishment they require because it gives fish all the vitamins and minerals they need. Flake food is the most popular diet that hobbyists offer their gabbies. It is advised to offer a high-protein flake food of good quality once per day. The components are indicated on the label of the good flakes. When purchasing fish food, be sure to check the expiration date as well because vitamins may be missing from out-of-date products. You should also feed your guppies BG pellets as part of their diet. Greens like spirulina, plankton, and algae are found in vegetable pellets as what we are doing now. Uh, this mixture is a lot of spirulina on it. These are rich in calcium, iron, and the vitamins B, C, D, and E. Guppies fins and tails are healthier and more resistant to skin infection thanks to spirulina supplements. Since this meal contains natural carotenoid pigments, it will help bring out the colors in your fish. Guppies also like brine shrimp. Once or twice a week, you can offer them fresh dried brine shrimp. The protein-rich brine shrimp can be fed to both adults and young fish. Bloodworms are a great source of fat, which should be fed only in small quantities to adult guppies. Feeding freeze-dried bloodworms to your fry can improve their growth rate a lot. Tube effects worms are excellent conditioner for your fish. Do not feed live tube effects worms to your fish because if not keep in the right conditions, they can carry bacteria that will kill your fish. And if you're not so sure where the tube effects came from, you can treat them by putting or by adding antibacterial medicine under water and let it set for 24 hours. Fresh dried tube effects worms, however, can be fed to your gaffy fish once a week. And finally, Decapsulated baby brine shrimp. 
And we all know that dried live fish food has a higher protein content compared to alive ones, and it has a lot of vitamins and minerals so to for your gut fish good health. And of course, you can check on our one of our store in Shopee, listed in the description below. Some of these products might be recommended for certain types of fish and many fish keepers might consider this food not suitable for guppies. I can only say that my, that my guppies love these foods and they grow fast and are super healthy. Just try them out and see the results and will amaze you of course. Homemade guppy food You can culture your own live food or make your own fish food if you have the time. The most popular food for guppies is brine shrimp, which has a 60% protein content and 25% fat and carbohydrate content. Your guppy fry will be able to develop bigger and faster if they're given a diet rich in protein, fat, and carbohydrates. Adults enjoy eating brine shrimp as well. It is simple to grow brine shrimp indoors at home. You can also view our earlier video on brine shrimp culture. While brine shrimp eggs take 1-3 to three days to hatch, if you wish to serve your fish live food every day, I suggest running several hatcheries continuously. Egg yolk is one of the most common foods that hobbyist fish keeper prepare at home. Egg yolk provides a lot of fat to your fish, so adults should not be fed with it in high quantities. <laughs> The egg yolk is a great source of protein and also includes sodium, potassium, and vitamins such as A, C, D, B12, and minerals such as calcium, iron, and magnesium. Egg yolk is complex food for baby gap fish. The yolk of a hard-boiled egg should be crushed up into the paste and fed to your fish in low quantities. Do not overfeed this food because it can highly pollute water. Beef heart is another super food that is fed often to guppies. Once the beef heart is cleaned of fat and chopped into very small pieces with a blender or a sharp knife, it can be fed to your fried guppies. It can be mixed with hard boiled egg yolk, carrots, spirulina powder, and shrimp and other ingredients for better results. It is not recommended to feed to adults due to high fat. Just feed them little by little, right? Got it right? <laughs> and dapia. It is shown that co cultivation of dapia allows to obtain dapia biomass with an increased content of a total protein content 82.6% and carotenoids 15 to 24 mg of dry weight and can be purchased as fresh dried from stores. However, the big majority of fish keepers who feed dapia are having their own culture. Dapia is relatively easy to culture at home. They require 6 to 8 hours of light and they feed on algae, yes, and bacteria. Culturing dapia indoor might be difficult because of the smell, so keep that in mind if you want to culture dapia in your home. Dapia is a great source of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. It also provides a great amount of vitamins A and D. It is vital for your gut fish and all fish. And we have also videos on how to culture it, so just scan our previous videos. You may raise vinegar eels at your home. In case of one crashes, I often have three or four cultures going simultaneously. Despite being simple to culture, they require more effort to harvest. Another downside of raising vinegar eels indoors is the overpowering vinegar smell. <laughs> Even though the vinegar eels are a wonderful source of protein, 50% and fat, 20%, you should not feed your fish with them frequently because they can be stored in a sealed container. Microns are comparable to vinegar eels but are simpler to collect and don't have a strong odor. Keeping the lights on for more than 12 hours a day on your guppy fry will help in growth significantly. Also, more frequent water changes are recommended for gaffish fish as what I always said uh, from our previous videos. And as what I've said earlier, we have tutorial videos on how to make amazing fish food and high protein fish food with lots of vitamins on it. Just scroll down our videos, right? But if you don't want to make your own fish food due to busyness, you can also purchase Max Gold Flare at our Shopee store. <laughs> and I'm the one suggesting the ingredients of it for optimum gaffa fish growth 
and and, oh, and of course for for good coloration and it has a lot of carotenoids on it or you can check the link on the description below so thank you so much guys for watching the video till the end hopefully you've enjoyed and you know already what are those best catfish food that we can offer to our catfish and i'm hoping that this video will help you uh, to raise your catfish to have that good and healthy body that our catfish uh, that are necessary for our catfish and guys if you like this video please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to get updated whenever we have new uploads and by the way if you have any uh, suggestions clarifications and questions you can just um, write your comment down below or you can uh, send your message at our um, ep page at habitv.ph or to my instagram account markroyce87 i'll do my best to answer all of your questions there so thank you so much guys and have a nice day everyone to get with the glory and see you in our next video bye bye